Welcome back to another episode of Stay Sprung. And I'm here to share that I've recently picked up my holy grail of entry-level timepieces. I'm referring to reference 16234, The Oyster Perpetual Dayjust by Rolex. Circa 1989, this watch at almost 31 years old remains in excellent condition. Movement caliber 3135, containing 31 jewels with 42 hour reserve. The 36 millimeter date just is the only size for me. Certified Swiss chronometer and it's 44 millimeters lug to lug and 12 millimeters thick. This year's oyster case has drilled lug holes with a screw down twin locking crown at 100 meters water resistance. The five link steel jubilee bracelet completes the entire package. Polished on the sides of the outer links with a brushed satin finish on the top. And then the three inner links are hollowed out and have their own unique finish. Paired with the glaring fluted bezel. Featuring the Rolex's very own in-house 18 karat white gold, which is completely solid through and through. The dial, sunburst silver, accompanied by applied 18 karat white gold Roman numerals and matching 18 karat hands. Then, there's a slight touch of detail along the outer edge of the dial rests the railroad style minute track. In my opinion, the piece has a way of cutting and refracting light along the lines through the entirety of the watch. From the sunburst dial to the hands and applied numerals into the bezel and continuing down the inner links and even on the clasp of the day dust. And it's even apparent on the knurling of the crown. All of my other pieces in my collection, I love them, but they pale in comparison. From the mechanics to the accuracy to the pure craftsmanship and quality and even to the point of groundbreaking steps in horology history and their place and time where they stand with that. I would have to say I'm 110% ecstatic about this addition to the collection and um, 2020 is starting off as a great year. And always remember, stay sprung.